starting to electrocute people. Seth! I'm so scared for a minute. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. It doesn't have enough structure to actually hold the new facade. Everything is gonna be a problem today. So it turns out our fish spas are actually off exhibit right now because it was starting to electrocute people. Yeah. It does. Set that! It sends it right up your arm. So basically what we think is happening is right in here, we have UV filtration and we have a bunch of pumps. Obviously something is shorting out and sending a little electrical shock into this. <laughs> so we have to fix that before we let people put their feet and hands back in there. If I were betting, man, I would say that it's a UV filter and I think that we're going to be okay. Do you want to bet? Sure. What are we betting? That you'll get shocked. You know how many times I got shocked yesterday? You ready? No. <laughs> what are you doing, man? Oh, we're good. You think we're good? Yeah, we're good. <laughs> I was so scared. You think so? Like, this one, just, just to make sure. Oh yeah, we're good. That was an easy fix. Just something is shorted out in the UV filter. We'll have to replace that in the next day or two. Hey, that wasn't as bad as I thought, right Mike? Yeah. Yes. Yes. I'm so scared for a minute. So the fish spot is all figured out and it actually was a lot easier than I expected. So let's go across the street and check out what's going on over there. Well, here we are. This is just a few days after we gave the last update of what's going on over here. You can see all the walls are off. We just have the one bathroom up over here. And that actually comes out over there. Walls go all the way back now. We do have to still chip up aisle work right here. Carpet is all up right now. Look at the ceiling. So cool how it looks now. This will all get painted black. So you won't see any of that. The front walls are coming out. It's really coming together. We haven't done anything here because we're gonna actually move those tanks over this way. Still have a lot of debris and stuff. Got that wall to rip out there, but you can see now we're all the way down to the actual cement walls we tore all that out this comes out that comes out everything comes out over here yeah I mean we're almost at a blank slate guy I'd say we're probably a week maybe 10 days away from this being completely demoed and to have a complete kind of blank slate of what this place is going to look like if everything goes well probably actually pour the footing and start building that front facade out that's when we can break these walls out and break that whole front down windows going in it's going to be freaking amazing we're getting there man I mean it's going to be cool when this place is all cleaned up and everything is out it's going to look so amazing that's the update on the build which we still have a lot, lot, lot to do here in 2023. What do you say we head over to the aquarium house? Before we go to the aquarium house, we actually have to go to Best Buy because I have to pick up a few things, you know? I need a couple more TVs, you know, because there's not enough TVs in that house, right? So bad. So bad. Right. Thank you. Can I just see your, actually, I don't need to see your Oh, you don't. My boyfriend watches you. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you know what? And we went to the place. A did you go? Weeks did ago. you? Did yeah. Oh, how did you like it? Yeah, we did. I really liked it. What's his name? Alex. Have uh, you got a phone on you by any chance? Mm -hmm. Hey, Alex, what's going on? I'm here with Diana. Where are you at, Diana? <laughs> oh, oh, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all your support. It means the world to me. Thank you so much. Are you up there? Oh, yeah, no doubt. Come see me I think we're done, right? No, we have to get one more TV. Look at him go. Now we're ready to head to the aquarium house. We're not gonna drywall the... No. no. Okay, perfect. This whole main from, from side to side yep. go up to the bottom of the wood. So much stuff to think about here. I mean, there's so many layers. I mean, yeah. things that you don't even think great, about great. much. We're actually meeting with the fire suppression guy. Obviously, all of these little things are fire suppression, which you have to have when you have over a certain occupancy, and this building obviously has that. But we literally have to, you know, cut all these off and put them all the way up to the ceiling, run them around. Put this main up higher, so this is all just, again, hidden costs that you don't even think about when you're thinking about renovating. But, you know, this is probably, you know, $25,000, $30,000 just to move some fire suppression stuff around but hey it's super important to get it right and this is actually the first time i've seen the actual tank working with the bubblers and everything else like that it's a little bit cloudy it'll get clear after it goes through the cycle and stuff like that but we'll be able to get fish in here relatively soon within the next few weeks which is going to be absolutely incredible have a little bit of cleanup work to do with that but today it's all about the 5,000 gallon ponzilla got a problem uh -oh. i get you every time every time and of course this is ponzilla the 5,000 gallon koi pond that is in the basement and this is Ponzilla here. I mean, look at the size of this pot. It's really crazy. And just to give you an idea, when Steve pot. really redid this house, he actually has to bust up the concrete in the shape of this here so that he could actually run all the plumbing in the ground. This is completely custom. Then they have to put this polyurea coating on it. This is pretty much leak proof. There's no way that this could ever leak in the future. It's gonna be cool. I mean, think about that. That, that water's like up to here and there's gonna be a bunch of koi in here. We got the viewing panels right here, which is super cool. We're always gonna put like maybe some koi food right here so that people can feed them when they're in here. I'll get some pretty big 
big koi, but eventually they're gonna get giant. Another problem is the fact you that you can't really move them during the winter time because if you move them, there's too much stress. So the pond will be up and going. Maybe we'll throw something in here, but for the most part, this is gonna be kind of just a pond until probably about May or something like that. But I'm so excited to get those koi. They are gonna be so cool. And this is actually the filtration that's gonna keep Pondzilla absolutely great. I know uh, just enough about fish to do a lot of fish. I don't know. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try to say what these pieces are, and then I'm gonna have Steve tell me what they actually are. So this to me, I think is where the water comes in. It circulates around, it creates bacteria, uh, I, something like that. This is a pump. So this is actually what's drawing the water in. And then this is a, a uh, I don't know, a skimmer, a polisher. It's a something that makes the water even cleaner. And then it goes back out, right, Steve? Close, half and half. This pre-filters everything and is the biological filter. This is the main pump, which is the engine. And this is actually the ultraviolet sterilizer, which sterilizes bacteria and diseases and stuff like that. So. Uh, Steve's always gonna make me look bad. That's the problem. You should have just said I was right. You were right. I have a, a company come out, take a look at the roof. I was talking to Lori and have them pour the roof, see if we need any additional insulation up there or what we need to do. We can do that. I was looking up here and I saw that. That's what I saw. So I'm like, okay, this steel is going all the way up there. Now, if you come over here, I am cut it out to make sure we got steel. There's nothing there. What's your option? That's what we're gonna talk with Pete about. The theory is to shore it up, and then we'll take that pier out, wherever he wants the piers, we'll cut it out and reinforce that section. So that's where we're at. Okay. So much to do. <laughs> yeah. And speaking about things that are, are unexpected, uh, this was kind of some bad news I just got today. We initially thought that there was steel in these pillars right here that was holding up this beam. We thought we could just strip away this brick and actually use the steel and no big deal, right? Well, it turns out that this is actually just brick and there's no steel behind, which means that every single one of these has to come out. We have to pour a big footing and put steel in here. I mean, each one of these might cost us $5,000 and there's three or four of them. Some would be fifteen dollars or $20,000 that we didn't have budgeted for there, not to mention the sprinkler system and the way that we have to do it is gonna be a lot more because again, we have to cover the wood on the roof. And right now, all the sprinklers are just coming down. So if heaven forbid there was ever a fire, the sprinklers have to spray up towards the wood so that the wood doesn't burn off. We have to redo that. That's again, another probably $25,000, $30,000 that we didn't expect. And then we also found one other thing out is the steel over here that is already down that we thought we would be able to use. It doesn't have enough structural weight to it to actually hold the new facade. So we have to rip out those steels for five by five footings that are 48 inches deep. Each one of those is gonna cost thousands of dollars. And then the poles, we probably just added $50,000 to the front of the facade alone. That's the way these projects go. I mean, it's uh, it's stressful, but um, we just have to make it work somehow. This TV is actually pretty good. This is one that I'm gonna be replacing, but the fact is, is that it's a little bit old, so I'll probably give it away. If you need a 55 inch TV, comment down below. Maybe I'll pick one of you guys and send it out to you guys. The fact is, is that we want all the TVs in the house to be Roku TVs, because apparently if let's say you're renting a place for one day, you can log in and after 24 hours you're logged out. But when you log into one TV, all the TVs in the entire house will be logged in for you. I, that's what I heard. I don't know, it sounds crazy to me, but that's what she said that you can do. So let's hope that that works. So we figure we'll just replace this TV and we're gonna replace this TV. This is definitely old. This is probably at least 10 or 12 years old. It needs to be replaced too. It's gonna to look a lot cooler too because it'll be the same size, but it'll be all screen instead of the smaller screen like this. And again, Roku, just in case you're in the kitchen, you wanna watch a movie or whatever the heck is. I just want the place to be so amazing and have such a great experience when you stay here. And by the way, I cannot get over how cool this looks with the bubbles going in the inserts. Oh my gosh, this place is looking cool. I'm gonna be the first one that stays here. I'm sure of it. It's gonna be amazing, but uh, let's go ahead and get the TVs gone. Just have to find out where all the wires are here. And hopefully I can plug this baby in somehow. Ooh, I see where it is, way in the back. Interesting. Okay. I hope this fits. This looks awfully big for that space over there. I do have a little bit of a history with measuring things wrong. That sounded really bad. Edit that out, okay? It is literally ridiculous. I mean, look at this TV. <laughs> you can hardly feel it. Can't believe these things are so light. There's no way to attach the... Oh, there they are. I gotta put the bracket right here, but man, that bracket's in a different spot. Okay, so I need to get different screws because these screws are really long and they have these spacers for the screws to go in. The problem is, is that where I'd have to position these spacers, it won't work with the actual lever. So go to the store and buy this screw that is about that long to be interesting. So that's a bummer. 
It's perfect. These are like old vans that don't get used. Dude, we're still gonna use I'm these. Gonna use these them. are called settlement chambers. So okay. all the big poop oh. settles in here before okay. it goes to the main filter. So this stays cleaner longer. Ah, makes less maintenance. less maintenance. This is kind of a Japanese traditional type filter. Which okay. is really sweet. So the water actually pumps into here? Yeah, it all gets drawn into here. All the big heavy sediment and, and goes the cake to goes to the bottom. And then the top water filters into the pump. Goes through this whole system, pumps right back to the pump. Pump back to the other thing. And once in a while, you just, there's the valves at the bottom. Okay. Open up. Just like back flows, basically. Yeah, easy. You just have to open it up and it's tied into the home drainage system. Goes to the neighbor's house? Oh, absolutely, every time. Good, perfect. So that's right into their bathroom. That's one thing that's great about Steve. Of course, I keep telling you he's my partner on the aquarium. And so he's actually doing all the filtration and has a great company, Bashy Aquatics. I'm gonna put a link in the description. It's all about the least amount of maintenance, right? That's what less you... maintenance. We don't have much time, so we yeah. gotta keep it maintenance. Time is money, yeah. less maintenance. So this seems like a pretty good system for me. So that Pondzilla looks beautiful. <laughs> Everything is going to be a problem today. I've got to mount these brackets, obviously, on here. And this is going to have to be way up high, too, like here to, to for the coverage. But unfortunately, the bolts I have are not the same size as this. So that means I've got to go get bolts for this as well. Mount those. So, so far, both TVs are a bust because I've got to go to the store to uh, get the right size bolts. Darn it. Couldn't be harder. Wonder if I could get away with it. So what exactly is it going to take to get this thing running? Cutting all the old plumbing, remove some of the old filter, and just reinstalling it into the new one. Should be done today, it might not be done, we might be, because again, oh, a lot of this is all custom. You'll you know, be done today. So, I don't care what time you have to stay till, yeah. you're going to be done today. I got a bed upstairs, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Steve, you know, whenever you're here, you can make yourself at home, you know? This, this is my house. Yeah, I, I, it was his house, yeah. actually. Well, at least I ended up finding a couple screws that work, so I got this TV up. So this TV is all set, ready to go. Lori has to figure out how to do the Roku thing. As far as renting it and making sure that your account isn't so logged in when you leave type of stuff. Back to the 5,000 gallon Ponzilla. When do you project water will go in this tank? Well, uh, next week. Next week, okay. That's better than I thought. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, I, I, for sure, I don't see why next week. You gotta check the that's, power though, dude, because oh. that's no bullshit of a pump. I gotta, I'm gonna check all that and make sure. <laughs> make sure that, that, like, oops, too much power. Well, not, not just that, but because the UV gets plugged in and then there's a blower. There's one part that's not here yet. It's just an air, big air blower. It only gets used when you backwash. That's how oh, you backwash that's that's that. Backwash. Gotcha. This is the backwash. You see all the dirty water come out. Oh. Then when it runs clear, it goes. Guys, I realize that there seems to be a lot of problems in this video, like there's, but this is what building things are about. You know, when you're doing you know houses or expansions or stuff like that it's constantly problem solving i mean it never goes smooth ever never a project goes smooth you know there's something right around the corner that's going to go wrong so yeah it's about problem solving moving on to the next problem solving moving on to the next ah uh, we're getting there so Steve is all set up here. It looks like everything is good. Just a couple little things that have to get done in the next couple days. It looks like there's gonna be water and Ponzilla here within a week, which I'm super excited about. I can't wait to just see this thing going. It looks so futuristic and absolutely incredible. So work is getting done here. Speaking about done, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, <laughs>